Good evening. Some parents say it is out of control. They say that too many fights are breaking out among students at one Lexington High School. We looked through records and found Bryan Station High School had more reported assaults than all other Fayette County high schools combined. So what's being done to keep students safe? Investigative reporter Miranda Combs has our top story at 6. This is the girl that's about to fight her. She's, she's walk, running up to her. She's watched this dozens of times. And gave us a copy. That's your daughter in the pink. Yes. But that she... girl threw the first punch at my daughter. I don't know who those two girls are. Just ran over there. But no matter how many times she sees it, it hurts. When I saw that, I felt like I could not help her. I felt scared for her, and I felt like the school let her down. Her daughter's fight was one of 22 assaults reported at Bryan Station last year. That's more than the total amount of assaults at all other Lexington high schools. You see numbers on the page, and the school staffs, they see every single one of those incidents, there's a backstory, very complicated backstory behind those, those numbers there. Vicki Ritchie is the Director of School Improvement and Innovation for Fayette County. She oversees Bryan Station and looked over the numbers with us. It's complex and complicated work to figure out what is the cause of that, what is the root cause of that. Ritchie says there has been a focus on school security at Bryan Station. We want to set things in place, positive behavior support. Teams and programs are in place to figure out best practices. So it sounds like there's a lot of legwork being done on an administration level, but when I look at these numbers, I have to ask, is it working? Mm -hmm. That's a really good question. Um, one of the things that we've seen over several years is that sometimes when you put things in place, you you put things in place and it'll be working. I know some of those numbers um, have taken some dips over a couple of years. You know, some, one number will go down and then it might jump back up. The number of assaults at Bryan Station did dip two years ago. For the 2012 2013 school year, there were 19 assaults. In the 2013 2014 year, there were 15, then up to 22 for this latest school year. Are you telling the kids what your expectations are? If you fight, you're going to get busted and you're going to go to jail. I mean, that's as simple as that. I mean, you've got to flex strong if you want to keep fighting out. John Akers, longtime educator and director of the Kentucky Center for School Safety, says supervision during class change has to be active, not passive. Are we out in the hallways? Are we spread out? Are we talking to the kids? Are we moving the kids? Are we keeping eye to eye com, you know, contact with them? Come on, you guys, you got to be in class. Let's go. And so it can be something as simple as putting. Uh, a different kind of supervision structure in place. Richie says they have recently adjusted class change time to better control crowds. I just felt totally helpless when I saw this video. Images a mother can't handle watching and a district challenged with stopping them. And the daughter of the mother we interviewed was suspended after the fight for the last couple of weeks of school. Richie would not comment on this specific case, but said in general that their goal is not to impede a student's education, but to send a message that fighting is not appropriate behavior and will not be tolerated. Well, you saw John Akers there in that story, and he talked to you a lot about the importance of crowd supervision during all of those class changes when there's a lot of kids out there. Right, and Richie agreed. And in that video, you know, it's hard to tell students from staff because they're all about the same height at that age, but there was obviously not a supervisor right there, but they did show up within seconds and break up the fight. But it's something they're constantly dealing with and trying to change because those class changes, there's a lot of kids yeah. in the halls. All right. All right. Thank you, Miranda. Mm -hmm.